So, we're all agreed that that's the best way to do it? Absolutely. It's so simple. No messing around with poison-tipped umbrellas or snipers. We just get a chauffeur drunk... Slightly drunk. <laughs> ..and, uh, and assume that he'll crash the car. Yeah. As long as we pay for a bunch of motorcycling photographers to harass him, I'm sure that'll happen. And the good news is that that only involves swearing another 15 or so people to perpetual silence. Yes. Plus, people always die in car crashes, don't they? Yes, always. And uh, people who drive over the limit always crash. What we're organising here, my friends, is a watertight hit. <laughs> my only worry is that it'll look so much like a murder that people will suspect. Well, th that is the risk we run by doing it this way. It will be totally obvious that it's an assassination, but remember what the Duke of Edinburgh said when he came in here to MI6 to give us our orders. <laughs> I don't mind carrying the lifelong suspicion of murder on my shoulders as long as you kill her in such a way that absolutely nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Induced tipsy car crash it'll have to be then. It simply can't fail. Unless she wears a seatbelt. No. She won't. She's unprovably pregnant, remember? Women recently impregnated by the only man they've ever loved are notoriously slapdash about their personal safety. <laughs> so, Dart, you're our best troubleshooter. Is there anything that we've missed? I've just got one little niggle. Why are we doing this? Well, because Prince Philip told us to. <laughs> it's, it's well known that the nation's security services are still pretty much at the beck and call of the royal family. <laughs> This is top priority. The IRA can do whatever they like this weekend, let me tell you. And um, why is he doing it? Well, because she's so popular. She's beautiful and everyone loves her. We need to kill her now so that people will go off her. Of course. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. If, if she's left alive to age as gracefully as one can while bringing up the bastard grandchild of a delusional Egyptian businessman, <laughs> then the, the public's just going to love her more and more. You're quite right, as her appearance wrinkles and sags and she occasionally makes a vacuous remark about something complicated, people's hatred for the rest of the royal family will only intensify. Whereas, if she's dead, she'll be forgotten in a week. <laughs> yes, of course, you've, you've made me feel very naive. <laughs> Hello? Oh. <laughs> Life imitating art, I suppose. Right. Well, thank you. Well, <clears throat> you can stand down, everyone. That all just happened by accident. <laughs> well, don't tell Prince Philip. We'll still get our fee. 